Hello everyone, this is Zada Golami from Agmasab Research Lab and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create lines in QGIS. So first of all, we should make a new shapefile in QGIS. What you will do is to go to Layer drop-down list, create line, a new shapefile layer. I click on that and this window opens up. The file name you will browse to the, the destination folder and go for layer line. This is my name, let's say. I click on save. File encoding will be okay. The default mode is okay. Do not change it. Geometry type. So in here, it's line string. If you are, um, in, in my previous video, you saw that I was making point layer and this geometry type was point, but now it's line string. Then the other settings are okay also. If you want to save the name for each line feature that you create, in here, you can make a new field named label, let's say. Okay, label and type is text data with this much length and that's okay. Add to fields list. You can remove these fields also by remove field. But for me, it's now okay and I click okay. You can see as soon as I've clicked okay, this new shapefile layer with the, with the name that I assigned to it is created right now, right here. Now, what are these line features used for? These are commonly used for drawing the stream, stream ways or roads or um, shorelines and coastlines or these kind of things. Okay, so um, now let's say I want to digit the pathway of the streams in my study area for uh, digit digiting the river uh, way. Okay, for this goal, uh, what I will do is to go to web and quick map services plugin can show me the Google hybrid satellite image. I am in my study area and I want to digit the way of rivers okay so what i will do first of all you can see this pencil right here okay if you click on that you enter the editing mode so i click on that and then you can see add line feature and vertex tool so when before that before this video when we were talking about creating points layer this was add point feature okay but now it's line feature because we chose line string in geometry type okay so i click on this add line feature button and you can see my mouse turned to this sign i will start digiting so it's it's so much narrow you cannot see it maybe but um it's like this okay so i want to be precise i am digiting the whole river um way okay so let's say that's my line now in here if I right click, I can make the ID and then the label in here, let's say it's River 1. I click OK and then you can see that my line is created. It's in green color, so you cannot maybe see it very good, but now I think it's better. I can also change the width of the line. You can change all the settings, you can change the color, change the width, or you can choose another styles for your line, which are here. 
all these and there are also advanced um, settings which you can go for but that's okay for now you can see I have now made my line in order to save the feature you have created you just need to click again on uh, this pencil but before that I want to tell you what does this vertex tool do for you so I click on that you can you can see the drop box okay this is the vertex tool current layer it's selected right now what you can do is that you can see there are you can see there are some um, some red circles okay if i change this color to to yellow then i think you can see it better the green the red the red circles you can see what i am doing with it you can select each of these vertexes i click on that and then you can change the placement. That's for, you know, uh, when you have made some mistakes in the drawing part and you want to correct them. That's for this purpose, okay? I can make them more precise, more beautiful, and more accurate by this tool. Okay, so. That was the usability of this tool in here. And then I want to, you can also save layer edits separately in here. But if you click on this pencil in here, it asks you, do you want to save the changes? Yes, of course. And I have now uh, saved the changes made to this layer. Now let's see layer line attribute table i right click on the layer i go for open attribute table you can see there is only id and label but another thing that we want in the attribute table of these lines commonly is the length of the line we have created what should we, should we do for that purpose what you will do is to go for vector as this is the vector we have created vector geometry tools the drop down list uh, opens up and then you go for add geometry attributes again if you remember we created points and they are also we got into add geometry attributes and what it did for us for point layer was to add the coordinates but now what it will do for us is to add the length of the line okay so the input layer is choosable it's layer line which is which we created and then you can use calculating using layer crs is okay and then click run so you can see the algorithm finished close and the new layer is now added in here added geometry information i right click on that and in open attribute tables you can see the length is now added so that was also so simple and easy and so usable but still if you right click on attributes of layer line you do not see the length so also another thing that i wanted to tell you in here what you can you can have in here let's uh, turn off the layer line and let's turn on the added geometry information layer so i will change the color also in here okay what i want to do is to show the label of the line on the map view what i will do is to right click on the layer go for properties and in here you can see the 
control feature labeling i go for labels so in here you can see the no labels is down here uh, i click on the drop down list and i go for single labels then you should select the value you can see id label and length which were the columns in the attribute table okay so i click on label of course then the text sample you can change the text sample so you can see that's the the sample of what will be printed on the map view you can change the font in here okay i can change the, the font and i want this one maybe style is regular you can um do all these settings okay you can bold it and etc and then you can change the size also and of course you can change the color so i go for this color right here and i think that's it i apply and you can see river one is now shown on the on the map okay so that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the sub channel i will see you in the next video please uh, do not forget to watch uh, our other videos about qgis about excel we have uh, we hope that we have something to provide some new information to provide and some valuable content i will see you in the next video and bye have a good day